Hi, I'm Erin Milzinski and welcome to Living the Sporting Life. I just came back to Calgary after racing at the World Pro Ski Tour. A package of skis was waiting for me and so we headed straight to the Sporting Life at Market Mall to get them mounted up. I also brought my race skis to get tuned up for the next race. So let's get these into the shop. I ran into an old friend while I was waiting. I love getting my skis tuned at Sporting Life because they have some of the best in the business behind this door. All of my race skis are ready to ski at the World Pro Ski Tour on the ice, but in the meantime, we're gonna get some powder. We finally arrived in the mountains. We're here in Canmore, which is known for its cold temperatures, but that means all of the surrounding lakes freeze solid and create this beautiful ice, which you can skate on while looking up at the mountains. There is so much to do in Canmore, but you know given Lenny's history, we had to hit up the cross-country trails. Canmore is a mecca for cross-country skiing, which makes sense given its 1988 Olympic history. But we decided to head out of Canmore today, deeper into the Rocky Mountains, and hit up Mount Shark. The trails are narrower, they're more windy, you feel at one with nature, and today we're gonna go on the Orion Trail, which takes us right past the biathlon range. seen any wildlife out here but we know there's a big old cat out here somewhere. Skiing was a lot of fun. We got a little bit of everything. Some powder, some freshly groomed trails, but it's hard to keep up with Lenny. So my favorite thing about skiing at Mount Shark is heading to Mount Engadine Lodge for Ab Prey Tea Time. I love Canmore and the Bow Valley, and it's sad to leave, but it's time to head west in search of deeper snow. Join me, Erin Milzinski, and Sporting Life on this amazing adventure and see where we end up next as we head west.